Good morning, Arizona. Welcome to your Saturday. We are live at Wesley Bolin Plaza celebrating the March of Dimes March for Babies. We have this little stud muffin over here that uh, has a pretty special story of uh, how he came into this world. We'll chat with the Warner family coming up in just a second. Let's talk weather, though, starting off with what we're tracking temperature-wise. A great day to get some grilling in. By noon, we'll be at about 77 degrees. By 4 o'clock, 84. Uh, so warmer temperatures than yesterday. And by 7 p.m., we're looking at a temperature of 79 degrees. So back out here live with me this morning, I have the Warner family. I've got Mitzi Warner, Jeremy Warner, and baby Dylan. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Dylan. So Dylan had a rough start to life. Tell us a little bit about his story. Well, he's almost two, and he was born at one pound, eight ounces. One pound, eight ounces. One pound, eight ounces. Just to give you perspective, this was his micro preemie diaper. That was actually even too big on him. And his little cap, too. And so he was in the hospital for about three months. Um, actually, four months in the NICU. And he had PDA heart ligation surgery. Pretty much every issue imaginable he had. And, uh, you know, luckily, uh, timing-wise, uh, I, I knew something was wrong. So I was able to get to the hospital. We were able to postpone labor for about a week and then uh, gave him a steroid shot to help his lungs develop on the spot. And um, that actually, you know, the, that was one of the key things that helped him survive. And, you know, we look at March of Dimes research and everything that they've been able to do. And I mean, that's why baby Dylan is with us today. So, so you guys have raised a lot of money. I am so proud of Team Tiny Tot because as a team, my goal was just to hit $2,000. We hit $4,300. So incredible. So you guys are out here today. Jeremy, what would you want the public to know about the March of Dimes and the technology and how they've helped baby Dylan? Well, until this little guy came into our life, uh, I didn't know the advances that they made. But March of Dimes has a great mission um, now to support healthy moms. First of all, everybody has a mother. So um, it's a great cause that way. And then it's making sure these little guys are born healthy and strong as well. And couldn't be more thankful for the advances they made. Otherwise, this guy wouldn't be with us. Look at that little face. I want to touch on one more thing, too. The executive director for March of Dimes, Michael Simone, who I adore, he uh, made a very good point. He's like, you know what? We're with you every step of the way of your pregnancy, regardless of how it plays out. And with me, I didn't know that it was going to play out with baby Dylan at 26 weeks. And then, you know, also unexpectedly, I recently uh, was pregnant and unfortunately had a miscarriage at around nine, around nine weeks. And so, um, you know, a lot of processing that goes on with that. But, you know, March of Dimes, they have um, support for bereavement and um, just something to keep in mind because a, a lot of moms and a lot of women do go through that. So. Such an incredible organization and a great cause uh, being celebrated and showcased out here today. March of Dimes, March for Babies. The walk officially kicks off at 8 a.m., 2.5 miles, uh, starting here at Wesley Bolin Plaza. Then they've got a great little festival. If you can't be out here but would like to donate, go to uh, March of Dimes dimes.org. We also do have a link on our website, azfamily.com. They're so great, too. It's so nice to see little baby Dylan doing so well. Um